Campbell and I'm an artist in Middle Tennessee. I grew up in East Tennessee and lived most of my life in New York and Europe and Los Angeles. So when I moved back to the country, I knew I wanted to be back somewhere that would inspire what I paint. And I'm primarily a landscape painter. At this point in my life, I've, I've done and explored different types of paintings and still do, but I'd say primarily landscape. I'm interested in capturing the landscape and the different moods it evokes. So often I'll see the landscape and there's just this feeling that comes over me when I see light hitting things in a certain way and and I just I'm just in awe, especially the sky and the clouds and how things move and change. It's it's so powerful. So if I can just capture a part of that and add my own personality into that that's what I'm interested in doing. And sometimes I paint the landscape and there's personal or deeper meaning behind what you see. And that really interests me too, is, is painting things and having some symbolism in there or things that represent to me or the person I'm painting it for some deeper emotional attachment. I paint both in acrylics and oils and I love doing both. I'm also consider myself very experimentational in that I don't always sell or show the work that I do on my own, but probably one day a week at least, I spend a lot of time just trying new materials and playing with them. And I think that informs my other work. I think it helps create a looseness and always just keeps that beginner mind that I think is crucial to artists if they want to grow. I think a lot of artists like to have their same palette and the same things they paint over and over and over again, and that's fine. But for me, I don't know. I, I, I'm always growing and changing and viewing things in a different way, and my art represents that. Lately, as far as my personal work goes, I have been exploring abstracting the landscape. So I love the landscape and I love taking elements of it and then breaking it down into shapes and line and color and texture in both acrylics and in cold wax medium and oil. And I love that. Cold wax medium is, wow, it's a process. It's, it's almost indescribable until you do it. it. There are printmaking aspects to it and there's also some traditional painting if you want to go that direction uh, you can carve back into it there's just so many techniques involved in cold wax medium I, I can't even go into it but it's really really fun this is a triptych I did for a client in or I'm doing for a client in Middle Tennessee I start out by going to their property uh, because we're doing a landscape and I shot a lot of images and discussed things and then did some black and white sketches and I also did these studies over here for approval on color and and just the sense and mood of what I'm going for with this painting and once they approved it I had the panels made and I started out in acrylic and then I moved to oil and I always start with the background first the sky the water and then I pull forward. So I'm at the point right now of finishing the foreground and getting that in. I'm probably about two weeks away from finishing. So I like to let the painting inform me a little bit and work and go with my plan that I've got here, but let there be changes and, and directions that maybe surprise me. This is a painting called Flowings that I painted on a three-dimensional Mobius strip. The infinite circle of the Mobius strip represents the infinite flow and cycle of water on Earth. I'm focusing here on the movement of water from East Tennessee through Middle Tennessee and down to the Gulf and back again. The sculptural painting hangs from the ceiling from a motor that turns it at different speeds.
the viewer can see the whole painting from every angle without having to walk around it. I'm really interested in the health of our waterways. Fresh water is a precious natural resource and vital to our survival. I haven't shown this painting yet, but when I do, the majority of the benefits will go to the Harpeth River Conservancy in Middle Tennessee. They work very hard to protect our waterways. I love it when I can give back by donating proceeds of shows to environmental or other causes I believe in. I have a home studio, which I love. I love being able to take a break from painting and walk down to a year-round creek that's in the back there and take in nature and just watch the water moving and the leaves falling and the patterns and textures and lines and get inspired. So that's a lovely thing to have. Plus, I love gardening. So to take a break and go work and do a little vegetable gardening or flower gardening, I, it really, I love that. As far as Aramont goes, oh gosh, I mean, I wish I could just take a six month sabbatical and go do nothing but take classes there <laughs> and just live there and absorb the whole thing. That would be fabulous, but I can't. So if you can, I recommend it because the classes are amazing. There's nothing like working with your hands, just picking up and and touching and feeling and smelling all kinds of materials and just working with them and getting away from your computer and learning something new. That's what I love about Aramont. They have the most tactile experiences for artists. Leave your world, go to Aramont and just turn off that phone and focus on your craft, whatever it is, and just immerse yourself in the beauty of everything that's Aramont, from being able to get up and have amazing food and get down to the studio and work and just play and explore. And even after dinner, you can go back to the studio. So, so with that total immersion, you can get so much out of your week. I love the evening talks at Aramont, the PowerPoint presentations by the teachers teaching there and their assistants. I just, it's amazing hearing their stories, where they came from, what inspired their work and where they're headed. It's just, I love it because everyone is so unique and so inspiring. So it's not just about the workshop you take, it's about everything that's going on there and meeting people from all over the world and just finding out who they are and what makes them tick. I just love all that. I think Aramont is just a great organization and I'm honored to get to be a part of it and I hope that will continue. I, I get to teach a workshop in 2021 on cold wax medium and I'm very excited about that. So thank you so much Aramont. I love you guys. Another round, 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 another round,